let us start with our new part 10 with the num chapter number 16 yes this is the last part of this chapter hope whatever we have done till now you have understood that concepts yes maximum sums i have covered in the in all the sessions but in that also one or two sums are left that you can solve yourself yes so let us continue with the part 10 now last session i have shown explain you this formula again we will revise that because depend on that we have to start with the exercise now what is that a raised to a, a raised to m upon n is nothing but square root of a that is square not actually a square root nth root of a bracket raised to m or it can be written as a raised to m and then take a nth root yes so if you want you take a nth root first and then raise to power m or first raise to power m and then nth root so main part is what what is the meaning of m upon m and m is nothing but a power and n is nothing but the root value these two points you have to remember again i will repeat m is nothing but a power and n is nothing but the here what a correct n is nothing but a root yes so numerator is nothing but a power and the denominator is nothing but a root so for example 4 raised to 3 by 2 3 by 2 3 is a power 2 is nothing but what yes it is a root so here 3 by 2 it can be written as what 1 upon 2 into 3 i will split 3 by 2 as 1 by 2 into 3 why because 4 raised to 1 by 2 is nothing but a square root of 4 which is nothing but 2 correct so 2 cube answer is 8 similarly if you want you can do it in the other way so first take a 4 cube value 4 cube is how much 64 and then take a square root answer is 8 in both the cases you are getting the same answer let us start with the exercise now exercise 1.6 find now here the questions will be of two types find and simplify simplify means just you have to apply the laws of indices and simplify but find means what we have to find the value yes the final value is expected okay see the first sum 64 raised to 1 by 2 correct so 64 raised to 1 by 2 so here see the denominator denominator is 2 so let write this number 64 in the power of 2 why so that 2 and 2 will get cancelled so here i can write the 64 as 8 square again see here i can write it as something 4 raised to a power also 64 can be written as with the 2 raised to power also but here what i am doing as the denominator is 2 i am writing in the power of 2 so 8 square in a bracket raised to 1 by 2 so that this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so i am getting the 2 and 2 will get cancelled 8 raised to 1 so final answer is 8 so i have written the split how to what is the 64 means 8 into 8 as 8 square is it clear yes see the second sum 32 raised to 1 upon 5 yes just wait 32 raised to 1 upon 5 32 again we can write it in the other different form but see to that here 32 raised to 1 upon 5 denominator is 5 so i am writing 32 as 2 raised to 5 so 5 and 5 will get cancelled and you will get the answer here as 2 is it clear to all of you if you want you can see the 32 how it can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 as 2 raised to 5 see the next sum 125 raised to 3 one sorry 125 raised to 1 by 3 clear so it is 5 raised to 3 can you see here again why because your denominator is 3 i am writing 125 as 5 raised to 3 so 5 raised to 3 raised to 1 by 3 so 3 and 3 will get cancelled and your answer will be what a number 5 
Why? Because 125 is nothing but 5 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 5 raised to 3. Clear? So, such a type of simple questions can be asked in the exam. Okay? So, let us continue with the question number 2. The question number 2 is again fine. But now, here with the numerator and denominator. Now, first question is what? 9 raised to 3 by 2. So, here 3 is a numerator, 2 is a denominator. That means, 2 is a root value and 3 is a power. Correct? Now, here always concentrate on denominator first. Concentrate on the denominator. As it is 2, write this base in the power of 2. So, 9 can be written as what? 3 square. Why I have taken as 3 square only? Because my denominator is here as 2. So that 3 square raised to 3 by 2. This 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So I will get 3 raised to 3. So 3 raised to 3 is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3. Hope you all of you can write the answer now. 3 into 3 into 3 is how much? Correct. It is 27. Is it clear to all of you? Just you have to remember as what? The denominator. See the denominator and convert your base in the power of denominator. So that the denominator and this power will get cancelled and you can find your answer very easily. Okay. Let us see the next sum. 32 raised to 2 upon 5. What I told you before, just again I will revise. First of all, what we, why we have to see? We have to see the denominator. The denominator is 5. That means what you have to do? You have to convert this base 32 in, in what? As a power of 5. So, 32 can be written as 2 raised to 5. So that this 5 and 5 will get cancelled. So, 32 is what expansion I have shown it over here. Here it is what actually it is 2 raised to 5. Yes. So, 32 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 raised to 5. So, 5 and 5 will get cancelled. 2 square. What is a 2 square value? 2 square is nothing but 4. Is it clear to all of you? Can we continue with the next sum? Okay. So, 16 raised to 3 upon 4. Now, Again, 3 upon 4 is given. Correct. Now, 16 can be written as 4 square also, 2 raised to 4 also, in a different way. Why I have taken as 2 raised to 4 only? Now, this time you can understand better. Why? Because my denominator is 4. As my denominator is 4, I am writing 16 as 2 raised to 4. I am not writing as 4 square over here. So, you have to convert the base as per your denominator. So, 2 raised to 4 raised to 3 by 4. So, that this 4 and 4 will get cancelled. You will get the answer as what? 2 cube. What is a 2 cube value? Yes, 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. So, your final answer is nothing but 8. See the next one. The fourth one is quite different because here the negative index is given. Correct? See the sum. 125 raised to minus 1 by 3. So again what is the first step we have to check? Check the denominator. Denominator is 3. So that means I have to convert 125 in the power of 3. So it will become as what? 5 cube. So, 5 cube raised to minus 1 upon 3. So, 3 and 3 will get cancelled. Correct? So, it will become as what? 5 raised to minus 1. But you know, what as an indices formula, 1 upon a raised to n. Yes, is nothing but what? a raised to minus n. Is it correct? Do you remember this? Yes, indices, law of indices, this is one of the law. Correct. So, 5 raised to minus 1. If I write it in this form, it will become 1 upon 5 raised to 1 is nothing but 1 upon 5. Okay. Is this clear? This is just a quite little bit different sum than the others. Okay. But easy. See the next one. 
simplify See, now here question number 3 this is a last question of our exercise a 1.6 yes see the first sum 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 upon 5 here as i told you simplify means what here we will apply the law of indices and just simplify we will not find any value over here if the question is asked find in that case you have to find the value of that correct so here just we will apply the laws of indices okay so see the first one 2 raised to 2 by 3 into 2 raised to 1 upon 5 so you know the law of indices you are very thorough with those laws last year we have done so many times okay so what is uh, here as here it is a base same 2 and 2 so that means a raised to m into a raised to n so what is a law that is a raised to m plus n just the difference between what is the difference between 8th and 9th in 8th standard we used to have only uh, negative numbers positive numbers but now as you are in 9th standard you are getting the fractions also but the method is same the law is same so application is also same yes so here we will add the index 2 raised to 2 by 3 plus 1 1 upon 5 yes 2 raised to 2 by 3 plus 1 upon 5 see the calculation over here 2 by 3 plus 1 upon 5 2 fives are here as 10 plus 3 ones are 3 upon 3 fives are 15 so what you will get the answer here as 13 upon 15 correct simply the addition of fraction so final answer you will get it as what 2 raised to 13 upon 15 you can't do anything further this is nothing but your final answer okay so we will continue with the next sum now the next one second one is 1 upon 3 cube raised to 7 okay so here 1 a raised to m raised to n because 3 raised to 3 is given and raised to 7 so we are applying which law a raised to m raised to n is nothing but a raised to mn so we will multiply this 7 to the bracket so it will become 1 is 1 raised to 7 divide by 3 raised to 3 into 7 1 raised to 7 1 raised to any power is nothing but 1 correct and 3 raised to 3 into 7 is 21 so your answer is 1 upon 3 raised to 21 this 21 is only for 3 it is like this way 1 upon 3 raised to 21 don't get confused 21 is not there for that number 1 only for number 3 okay see the next one 11 raised to half divided by 11 raised to 1 by 4 now in this case what you again the base is same and the power is different so a raised to m divided by a raised to n what is the law it is a raised to m minus n correct yes so it is how to simplify then again with the fraction 11 raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 is what cross multiply here 1 4 1 into 4 4 minus 1 into 2 is 2 4 minus 2 upon 8 is nothing but 2 by 8 or you can simplify further okay so here you are getting as 2 upon 8 so 11 raised to 2 by 8 just simplify as 2 ones are 2 fours are so your final answer is nothing but 11 raised to 1 upon 4 is it clear to all of you till here any doubt yes so here no need to simplify further because this is nothing but your final answer correct so let us see the next one and the final question 7 raised to 1 by 2 into 8 raised to 1 by 2 now you can see over here as what your index is same half and half index is same but the base is different so which law a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a into b raised to m 
So simply 7 into 8 you take it in the bracket with the common index as half. So 56, 7 8s are 56 raised to half is nothing but your final answer. Hope all the questions are clear. Now similar to that I have given few sums for practice. These, not, these are not a textbook sums but for a practice I have given these sums. Try yourself. Definitely you will get your answers. Is it clear? Okay. Thank you.